Let's do a movie. It's movie tube. Me tube. Camera chick tube. Uh, catheter tube. Yucca. Gross. That's gross. How would you say that? It is so gross, for real. Look here. Um, if you didn't get the update letter, we're going to do it real fast. Um, we're behind. That's it. <laughs> Turn it off. Shut that shit down. This video is over. Steel mill. COVID. For real. Since I sent the letter out, that happened. They're shut down to the 16th. Just when we're getting caught up, the new shop is wired. So we can put a whole bunch of crap in that new shop. That happened two days ago. Completely done in a godforsaken Georgia heat. But the AC was hooked up in there because I'm an electrician. And I hooked it up and it's finished and it was cool in there. But anyway, um, material. My God, just watch the news. I don't care what flavor of news you watch. Freaking Al Jazeera or CNN or Fox News or whatever other communist thing you decide you want to look at. It's hard to get steel, it's hard to get help, and it's hard to get stuff done shipped to you without people getting sick and dying from real diseases and fake diseases. Look, I'm not political in any way, shape, or form. I am not. I am Mr. Ambiguous. Yeah, effing right. That is not true. So that's the update. Um, so I get asked a lot, what blade do you carry? Is the phone telling me it's yes. going to kill itself? The it's just saying it's hot again. The phone's too hot because, I mean, <laughs> look at this. It's torching that phone. I carry the Raider. Most times. Not because it was the first one that made us popular. It's just my favorite blade for the most part. I carry the Striker sometimes, but I like it because it's a short, stubby. I'm hard on shit, yo. I mean, like, I'm digging and prying and stuff all the time. But I do want to talk about the grip because it's not a three finger grip. Yeah, I mean, none to my. This would be three fingers, right? There's all this extra down here. It's four. So your finger wraps around it. But it keeps it a shorter profile. Why? Because, look at this. It's gone. And it's not because I got a tool shit hanging out over my tool it's because it tucks away you know what i'm saying i keep it dry for raining my shoes you nasty little worm not even you guys are gross but look at here what is that that's a prototype sheath <gasps> this is what they're turning to so kind of away or from So the same exact width wise, right? But you got a wow. few little more features. This one, some that looks incredible. So awesome. Got a big, huge drain hole for all the shizer that gets down in there and waters. And then you can lace them off. This was the biggest reason for doing this. Cause people wanted to be able to tie them off to their packs, right? And Molly and for those people that like to go to the gas station in their full tack gear. Oh, Got a knife because I need to get some cigarettes at the gas station. What is this? <gasps> what was that? That was a secret. You can't see that. That hasn't come out yet. Oh. What is that? He looks mean. It is mean. Look at this crap. Okay, look. That's a 20 degree and that's a 15 degree. Try side and it is sharper than. Hades I guess hell, it's hell sharp anyway um, this is the Guardian folks so it's on the Raider platform the nickel born I got this back from nickel boron today and I'm pretty jazzed about it if you don't know what a Warncliffe blade is used for it's this thick and a heavy grind then you probably don't need one this ain't for slicing your damn potatoes you know what I'm saying this thing has got a real wide blade with a short narrow grind I mean, look at this. I mean, if you, I mean, I don't know. If you don't know what this kind of blade is for, this ain't your grandmommy's knife. Unless grandmommy likes laying people open. Sick <laughs> Ooh, grandmommy's mean as shit. Can you imagine? Look, though. Wound channel is going to be crazy freaking wide with a blade like this. It's got this super aggressive try grind on the back 
this thing nasty y'all this thing is gross be looking for this there's also some more other top secret type of stuff coming out one of these days but uh i'm gonna be carrying this for the rest of the week i mean look at i mean damn i mean this way and then this way okay look here's the design premise behind these sheaths folk i don't usually show this kind of stuff because i don't even know how to use a knife in my life but look if somebody hems you up pretend i'm hemmed and i can get my hands here all i do is twist my waist you see what i'm saying because if i'm grabbed here i can't reach to my pocket and pull my bench made flip knife out guess what that shit ain't working this is why a lot of people in the protection community keep these type of blades yo look i'm gonna help me uh you just twist your hip and you see the back side of that blade you get up in there oh my god you just peel that whole forearm off their freaking body and it's like meat in places is that an eagle yes it's there's a okay there's an eagle it's gonna take my kids it's mad at you for talking about know. slicing people up. yeah we're not talking about some people i'm gonna slice the eagle slice some else eagle i'm gonna kill you uh-oh what's that what is that look at that that thing you probably can't see it so the back edge of this night stalker look can you see this whoa see that pile right there Whew. same edge that you saw on this guardian that's coming out soon this is going to be the CQC, Close Quarters Combat. See, that even says it right there, and I did it on the back of that thing, too. But these are coming out soon. We kind of got to get all the pieces together, because I got 100 knives that I'm getting from Nickel Boron this time tomorrow. So I'm going to be one sharpening freaking fool over the next week. Your knives are coming, and this is not happening anymore, okay? The shop is done. We got literally tons of steel with my name on it. And then I'm going to put my name on it. And moving forward, we're not going to have any of these 18-week turnarounds. Unless another top secret thing comes through. And then y'all going to be like, I remember when I could buy a blade from this guy. And now he's too cool for school. I was always kind of too cool. Look at that. What? The? Did you see that? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Look, the ring's facing you, right? Now the tip is. That's some super secret type of stuff right there. I get a lot of people ask me to show knife skills. And what I don't want to do is show somebody something. And I didn't tighten that screw. <laughs> oops. Uh, oops. <laughs> oh, look, yo. This screw is not here to do anything substantial for this case. It doesn't hold the blade in. It's there. So that you can take it out <laughs> and you can put a static line because i love carrying my blade static line so you pull the clip off and you hook the ball chain on it and when you pull it out it goes like that and neck carry but can you imagine that all right well, a little change of venue kind of had to step into the shade because my hotness lighting's better over here anyway killed the phone wow that looked beautiful yeah well, I've talked to like four or five people this week. This is not a joke. They said that they love my videos because I'm real. And this is straight up how I am. I am literally this stupid in person. But we're doing, a, if you look on the back of a lot of our blades, you'll notice that there's this swedge along the back. Some people call it a false edge. Those were there for this oh, expansion. Fedge. False edge. Oh, we should get shirts made. <laughs> Fedge. People are like, what the fudge is that? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> anyway, these false edges, we were eventually going to offer them sharpened. Let's see, there's one sharpened. And don't look at this logo. I kind of jacked it up. But look, this is the number one of these. But the plan was this whole thing is done in nickel boron and i just took a strop and brought this nickel boron 
to a razor's freaking edge. And I can promise you, not only were the only ones doing nickel boron on a knife blade, battle worn style, but I can guarantee you we're the only people sharpening nickel boron. And it did shave. You synced it before the movie killed itself. I mean, my God, people. The piercing ability of this thing and to the ability to do some back cuts. I mean, this side cuts you too. It just gives you more options to defend yourself. I mean, it's not a potato peeler. It's a people peeler. I said it. Fire me, YouTube. I said it. Um, there was other stuff I was supposed to talk about, but I don't even know what it was. It was something about some stuff and then some other things and then some people and then we're doing some things but we do have the industry trend is towards concealed carry EDC blades and I'm not gonna say TKL knives was the pioneer but what I am gonna say is that we are very different from what is out there for this type of reason where you can just do this and pull these things out you know what i'm talking about hey i forgot i put that on there that's that new guy look if y'all really really like this guardian i'll rush it into production <laughs> right i don't have time to breathe but we were talking about that we're knives are coming and that's not gonna happen anymore you're not gonna be waiting the rest of your life for a blade you know what i'm talking about you like it it's real nice knives Bye.